Hey guys, Karan Jones here with another comic book review for you. Uh, this time we are reviewing Justice League slash Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Boom Studios issue number three. Um, and once again, I have to say I'm so excited to be reading this series. It is nothing but fun, a great story, um, and a really cool crossover. So without further ado, let's get into it. Um, so obviously the issue picks up where it left off with issue two. You know, uh, the, the DC Universe, they have now met the Power Rangers and uh, in a sense are kind of forced to team up with them. They're forced to team up with each other uh, because, you know, now Zed and Brainiac have teamed up and they created these giant squid-like monsters that are all over the DC Universe. And so right now what's happening in this particular issue, the Power Rangers and the Justice League, they're trying to figure out what's the best way of getting across the whole world to defeat these squid-like monsters. Um, so that's kind of the predicament that they're in uh, right now, is just trying to figure out uh, how to work together. Um, the Power Rangers, you know, they continue um, in this issue, you know, just letting, you know, the Justice League know, like, hey, this is what we do, man. We know how to take down uh, Zed and these monsters, and you just gotta continue to hit them hard until basically they melt away or whatever. And, you know, Batman, there's a moment in this comic where he's talking to the Green Ranger, um, and the Power Rangers, you know, and he's like, you know, we don't know you well enough to fight along with you. Um, we need to know a little bit about, a little bit more of who you guys are and where you come from before we can even do anything like that. And then the Green Ranger, he steps up to Batman and he's like, we don't have time to argue. Uh, lives are at stake. If you don't want to work with us, then stay out of our way. And, you know, Cyborg at that moment, you know, he just starts contacting everybody. Um, in the Justice League, um, as we've seen, you know, in the previous issue, that was kind of like how it left off. They started contacting everybody, and we kind of see that more so um, in in this issue. And then there's a moment where Cyborg he has some issues connecting and, and teleporting, you know, with the uh, Watchtower, um, and we figure out that Zed and Brainiac are uh, most likely behind uh, that issue. And then there's this other little funny moment. And th what I love about this uh, particular crossover too, you you find like, it, you see this these two brands coming together and it, and it looks obviously awesome. It is a great story. It is fun to read. And there's these funny moments where you're able to see like little hints of humor, especially with Batman, I find the most. Uh, you know, there's this point where Zack, the Black Ranger, um, they're like, look, we, we got to take these monsters down. So Batman, get inside the Mastodon. He, <laughs> he like tells Batman to get inside the Zord. I just thought of it as humorous. I think it's funny just to see these little moments where you can snip in, you know, a little bit of humor. Um, and, and it's still, you know, it's not really that dark. It's not really that light, but it's it's action packed. And, you know, it there's a story that's being told. And, you know, it just makes you curious, like, man, what's going to happen next, you know? So I really love um, how they're doing that so far. Uh, as you continue to read throughout um, this issue, you see the Justice League and the Power Rangers. They are just fighting off, you know, these giant squid-like monsters. And the Justice League, they're like, so how do you guys normally beat these guys? And they're like, look, once again, Zed's monsters, they don't last that long. Typically, you just beat them up until they, like, burst away or melt away or whatever. Um... And so all the Justice League, they and the Power Rangers continue to do that. And then we get to this moment where we see the Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, Zord gets like blasted um, in his face. And there's this like Brainiac drone uh, that gets inside of the Zords. So there's a bunch of these Brainiac uh, drones that get inside of the Power Rangers Zords. And... What happens is they take control of the Zords. They end up taking the Power Rangers power coins. And so the Justice League members, they have to get the Power Rangers out of their Zords. But, some, you know, before something worse happens. You know, so now the Power Rangers are coinless. Um, and they are not in control of their Zords. Um, and even Wonder Woman at a certain point, you know, she's like, Brainiac has taken control. Um, and we see, you know, that image where, you know, Brainiac's kind of symbol is on top of the uh, Power Rangers Zords, which is pretty crazy. Um, so now the Power Rangers, you know, they're, they're kind of powerless right now and kind of helpless. And they're trying to figure out, you know, you know, how to get control, you know, of their Zords and what to do next. 
And it seems that Zor uh, Lord Zed and Brainiac have now gone back somehow to the Power Rangers world. So they are no longer in the DC universe. They have gone back to Angel Grove. And, you know, that's an issue, obviously, for the Power Rangers because they're not in their world. They don't have their coins right now. They're not in control of their Zords. And so they're trying to figure out a way to stop Brainiac and Lord Zed and get back to their, you know, original universe. Um, and so the Justice League and the Power Rangers, you know, they all... There's this moment where, you know, they, they get to see each other. They see the Power Rangers unmasked, unmorphed, you know. And a lot of them are like... You know, I can't believe how young these guys are. Um, I think one, somebody even said, like, one of them looked like they were, like, 12 years old. <laughs> based off of their looks, you know, because they're kids. Um, and so that was surprising, too, for the Justice League to see just how young uh, this universe of heroes is. Um, and then even Flash, he says, how old do you have to, to be to get your robot dinosaur license? Uh, there's this, I love the little moments of Flash. Uh, and the little moments, too, of humor that we get with particular characters is just so fun. I love it. Um, and then it continues on. You know, Zack, the Black Ranger, you know, he definitely, you know, is kind of freaking out. And, you know, he's like, hey, we got to stop these guys, but we are here. So, you know, what are we going to do um, if they've gone back? And then there's this moment where I just thought it was really funny. Uh, just particularly the face that Flash makes, you know, because... Uh, they need uh, a time machine, you know, but they don't have that equipment in, in the DC universe right now. And so there's this moment where, you know, Flash is like, well, actually, I can I can travel through time. You know, um, usually I move really fast, you know, and <laughs> I just thought about I see all these different memes about, you know, Flash messing up the timeline and so on and so forth. And that's <laughs> immediately what I thought of when I seen kind of this little smirk on his face it just looked kind of funny and i was like yep you know barry's ready to he's ready to mess up the power rangers timeline don't be messing up my mighty Morphin power rangers timeline barry don't do it what ends up happening the power rangers and the justice league they end up going to switzerland um the cern facility where there's this actual technology that um can be used to help them you know kind of travel through time or to another dimension um, it's kind of very high tech um, and very uh, hypothetical. It hasn't been like fully used yet, but uh, with the skills of everybody in the Justice League and the Power Rangers, um, they can definitely make the device, you know, be useful. And so Superman, you know, he asks the folks, hey, we've got these young folks who need to get back to their world. You know, we just saved our world, but we got to help these guys save theirs. Um, we need to use this equipment. And they're like, of course, I mean, you're Superman. So they allow them in. So anyway, uh, so the Power Rangers and the Justice League, um, they're now inside this facility and they are about to use this, you know, very high tech device that will somehow get them back to Angel Grove to stop Lord Zed and Brainiac. Because from what we learned from the previous issue, um, Brainiac you know, now, you know, wants to kind of take over Angel Grove, you know, since, you know, he hasn't been successful in the DC universe, um, him and Lord Zed have established, hey, you can maybe be successful in another universe, and so that's where they are, and the Power Rangers, you know, are now trying to get back to their world, um, and that's basically where it leaves off, you know, uh, we see everyone's kind of useful skills are kind of being implemented, um, within this particular, you know, issue, you know, Billy, he's definitely the brains of the Power Rangers team, you know, Cyborg and, and, and Batman, um, you know, definitely has some scientific knowledge and are able to, uh, kind of tap in, uh, to a few different things and Flash can definitely time travel himself, you know, with his speed. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's where it leaves off is, you know, they're doing the best that they can to get back you know, to Angel Grove to help the Rangers to stop Lord Zed and Brainiac, which also brings up another thing. So the very first issue of this series, we see 
the Angel Grove looked like it was hit pretty hard, almost destroyed even, right? And we see that Superman, you know, he was telling Zack, you know, like, hey, son, this isn't your fault. Um, and so that kind of raises questions or brings more so clarity as to what happened in that scene. So I'm, I'm imagining that there's going to be some type of chaotic, crazy destruction that is happening currently or that will happen in Angel Grove. And, you know, the Power Rangers, they're going to definitely take a hit uh, because of that. And, you know, the Justice League will now travel to Angel Grove with the Power Rangers, which would make sense because that's what we've seen in that first issue of, you know, this series. And so I'm assuming that's, you know, where we're going to kind of go as we go forward uh, with these issues. So, yeah, um, we definitely covered a lot. Um, a fantastic issue. Definitely fun. Um, it almost seems shorter to me. I don't know. Maybe maybe that was just me. I, I read through it pretty quick. Um, I'm always excited to, to read these things. But uh, nonetheless, guys, I hope you liked this review. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel so you guys stay updated on, you know, anything Power Rangers um, and definitely dealing with uh, Boom Studios comic releases. I would definitely uh, be reviewing those as I'm subscribed to those issues and would love to just sit down and talk with you guys as we do um, on the weekends here. So uh, once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay in touch and support um, and share your thoughts. What did you guys think about this issue? What were your excitements? What are some things that you didn't like and what are some things that you are expecting um, in the next issue? Um, so, uh, share your thoughts in the comments, guys. Make sure you like and share this video. Um, and thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, guys. Peace.